Hey everyone and welcome to a new video. Now this video will be a special one because we will finally complete all the quests and equip the legendary quest cape swag. Uh, we also gonna complete the entry mode of the TOB because that's needed for the quest cape which is uh, yeah, it's gonna be a fun uh, experience. It's gonna be a bit of a long video so I'll put timestamps below so you can skip to the part which you want to watch. Now off camera, so without voiceovers, I completed some quests, made friends with my arm, that's one of them. Nothing to say about it really, just went over quick. Now that left us with only four quests remaining, nice. Then after that I did the Fremnic Exiles, which was also pretty smooth, nothing interesting happened pretty much. Uh, then I went on to the Song of the Elves, which uh, was a cool quest, I really liked this boss, uh, interesting boss. Uh, overall it was quite simple, it wasn't that difficult, but he had this one attack where, you can, where he hits like a 96 or something, like pretty much like 90% of your HP, so that was quite interesting. So yeah, Song of the Elves completed, which is cool because now I have access to that Elven city, uh, Priv, Dinius, whatever. But yeah, now to the present me, the non-voiceover voice, where I will complete the secrets of the North. Let's go. All right, so now after completing those quests, I am left with only these two Secrets of the North, which I'm doing right now, and a night at the theater. I'm about to do the uh, quest version fight of Mushpa. Mushpa? It's of course much weaker than the uh, actual boss that everyone fights in videos and shit, so I'm guessing that it will go well-ish, but it will still be a bit of a challenge. As always, I'm not well prepared. <laughs> I watched a few videos and I read the wiki, but I'm not too confident at the, uh, at the moment. <laughs> First music. Yep. Uh, melee. Right on time. So I think if you keep moving, he will not damage you with his melee attacks. Ooh, his defense is much lower here. Dude, it's going quick. Look at the damage I'm doing. What? I didn't know I was still my using my crossbow. <laughs> That's so stupid. But that was way too easy. What the fuck? I was <laughs> the fuck? That was so much easier than I thought. Why? I only ate one fucking anglerfish. Kinda lame. I was expecting a, a big fight or anything, or something, but I'm kind of bummed out. <laughs> I was expecting a challenge. I was like, yeah, probably, probably not gonna do it first try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die, and I have to like change my setup a little bit. But what the fuck. Hey, nice. And now that leaves us with only one quest left. Man, this does feel great saying that. Like, I'm so happy this grind is over. Like, although it was very easy doing all the quests with the quest helper and stuff, it's it wasn't the worst grind hourly wise. It went over quite quickly, but still, like every time I wanted to play RuneScape, I was like, "Yep, you gotta do quest, gotta do quest." And after a while, I was so fed up with it. <laughs> although I I know that I'm still progressing the account by doing quests. It doesn't my skills don't go up. You know, I wanna. This is the most important thing. Like, I wanna level skills. But yeah, only one quest left, the medium length quest, but, and I said this a million times, you have to do Theater of Blood, entry mode. I'm not sure how difficult entry mode is going to be. If it's the same as this version, like quest version and actual version of the boss, then this is going to be a piece of cake. But I, yeah, I don't want to jinx myself because I think this will be more difficult than the fight we just did. Final quest started. Yep, so only one thing left, complete the Theater of Blood. Okay. Alright, so I think the first boss is just gonna be self-explanatory. That's how I stored it in my brain, <laughs> in my monkey brain. So yeah, let's see how this goes. The guy in the video was using a crossbow though, so... Oh, what do I pray? Dude, I have no idea what to pray. <laughs> okay, pray range. I don't think I have to pray range. Okay. Oh, this is going great already. Yeah, so the guy in the video didn't even kill this guy. The spider, but whatever, I'm still gonna do it. Dude, I'm melting him down with his, his darts. Should I drink a potion? 
No, I'm not gonna. Apparently, I forgot to record the last fight. <laughs> Best YouTuber ever, man. Yo, what's up? Whatever. Now it's on to this boss. Okay, this is gonna be a bit more interesting. I have to gear switch now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't have to forget the colors. Green. They change color when they come in here, I guess. They don't. I hope. I feel like I'm gonna waste too much time switching all these fucking switches. Ah, what the fuck's going on? Okay, praise something. Yeah, that was really, uh, that was not smooth at all. <laughs> that was really sketchy. All right, next boss, Mr. Hellhound. <laughs> Evolution of Hellhound. It's mage. Uh, yeah. Good start, good start. Range. Yeah. <laughs> Range. <laughs> Mage, okay. Movement guard, movement guard. I will be so dead on normal mode. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm fucking up completely. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. Uh, I fucked up in the beginning with the prayers, but I guess it was alright. Long live entry mode. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Final to last fight. Perfect. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. <laughs> Weird how to predict where they will land. Sometimes they don't land exactly or look like, the, like this. It doesn't land exactly at your character's feet. Nice. I was kind of fucking up with the poison there because I didn't know that you had to be at least two squares away. Maybe I'm wrong, but it, it felt like it was still damaging me if it uh, landed next to me. All right, now I think this is the final fight coming up. Yeah. This one seems a bit more difficult than the other ones. I hope I can make it first try. I, I have a lot of supplies. Uh, I'm not sure what the KO potential here is. I have to focus and be... Yes, focused. <laughs> That's all I gotta do. Oh, fuck me. That was so stupid. Ugh, oh, why did I not see that coming? Alright, let's start running. I'm not hitting at all. Come on, blowpipe, please just hit. Thank you. Please be dead, please be dead. Nice, okay. Now I just run. I think I'm gonna run out of run energy, aren't I? I think so. I think this is a GG. Is this doable without having run energy? That's the question right now. I have no idea. I don't think so, but... Oh, I'm doing more damage at least than the fucking... Blowpipe. All right, yeah, just fucking kill me. Not again. <laughs> fucking hell. Oh, I'm so weak. Come on. Now, I'm not really sure what happened during the second try. I just felt like my blowpipe, my ranged in general, wasn't hitting at all. Like, it was so inaccurate. And I just kept running and running and eventually I would, I would just run out of well, either concentration or or I kept running out of food. Like it was just not sustainable. I was, I was just not going to do it. So during the end of the fight I tried just experimenting. I, I didn't watch any other video than just range him. That's the only thing I knew. But then I started meleeing him and I wasn't aware of his attacks that you can pray mage and range whenever he changes colors. I, I, I didn't know that. But I, I noticed that it was going way, way smoother when just me meleeing him. And so then I watched another video of a different method. And they also went like, yeah, but you can also melee him. And when he does this color, you can sort of can sort of predict that he's going to attack with mage. And if he does this, he will attack with range. And if you step out, he will not hit you with melee or less with melee. And then, uh, yeah, well, I tried it and it worked quite well. Fucking. 
I'm hitting, come up. I'm, oh, it's almost dead. I can do this one more hit, come on. Fuck the melee, fuck it. There were some lucky hits there, man. Yes, yes, come up, come up. <gasps> fuck yeah, oh, that's so nice. Oh, I don't have to do the whole thing again. Oh, that's so... <laughs> I'm so happy. That was the third and final try, I guess. I don't know. Oh, that's so good. Whoa, lutations. Nice. I'm genuinely very happy with seeing this for antique lamps. Damn, mining XP. Thank you, uh, wise old man. We will be seeing each other uh, shortly. Let's see. Oh, okay. There are no quests available that match your current filters. I had completed quest. Oh. It's all green, baby. It's all green. Just thinking about the sheer amount of hours this takes to complete. It's very cool. Very cool. I think there's only one thing left to do. Go to Drainer Village. Talk to the wise old man. Greetings, Lofi. Can I buy a quest point cape? Eesh. Oh. Okay, that's fine. Hmm. I like the music. Did it, dude. Hell yeah. That's cool, man. That's very cool. Hmm. Let's do the emote. Look, mom, I'm in a condom. Hee <laughs> hee. Hmm. That's nice. <laughs> that's all I got to say. I'm just, I'm just sitting here with a smile on my face, looking at it. Just being happy, being, being content. I actually like that the fight took a bit more effort than the other ones, just so, you know, it actually felt like a challenge. Hmm, still smiling. <laughs> I like it, dude, I like it. Nice. So yeah, what is the next goal for the account? That might you wonder, that I wonder as well. Who knows? No, uh, well, now that we finished the, the quests, uh, we of course continue our journey with the achievement diaries. Which one is it? This one. I believe now we have all the requirements for the <clears throat> for the Lumbridge uh, Elite Diary. So yeah, that, that's pretty much the first thing I'm going to do is complete the uh, Lumbridge Elite Diary completely. The Lumbridge Diaries completely. And after that, I'm not sure actually, I don't know what to do yet. I don't have a goal. I don't have to, I, di I didn't choose any other achievement diary after this one, after the Lumbridge one. But I'm very glad that I don't have to quest anymore and that's finally done because uh, I mean, I said it already before, but uh, I like grinding skills more than doing quests, I think. Like, sometimes doing quests is nice, you get on a little adventure and you see some stuff that you haven't seen before, but I don't know. I also very much like seeing these numbers go up. <laughs> and then overall, like, like, base 80, that's maybe base 80 is sort of the goal for the account now, after doing the Lumberjelly Elite Diaries. That's why I'm doing a little bit of agility right now, I just grinding a little bit here and there. And if any of you have any suggestions suggestions on which uh, achievement diary is uh, the most efficient or the most fun or the most rewarding to do, let me hear it in the comments. All the six people who watch this now. <laughs> a bit more than six people watch these videos now, I guess. I hope. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, if you have any suggestions, let me know. I will uh, happily read them. But yeah, thank you all for watching, guys. And I hope to see you in the next video. Uh, bye!